We're gonna die alone. Oh, the terror. Modern woman is mortified. Yeah, yeah mortified. To admit what men know. To admit what we as men already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the men with balls to admit it anyway. Chaos. Just to simply admit that, the reality is a lot of men would actually like to find a decent wife or girlfriend in this world, but we understand the reality is no. What the modern woman has become is just... Creature of the night. My God. I simply cannot understand for the life of me how you women go on a balloon popping dating show and turn down seem like decent men because of mm -hmm. their outfit. Yeah. Gosh, like my homeboy always say, we are at the point of no return. The end of day. Exactly. Point, point, point of no return. Lovely woman. Modern woman, mortified, clutching her pearls. She's not wearing pearls, obviously, but you know, clutching her pearls as to the modern BS. Bullshit. Absolute feces that modern men have to deal with in terms of dating. You know, I saw a video earlier on, I couldn't save it, but the woman in the video was saying, Do you know, there are a lot of men on the internet with microphones that are making points about women. To this day! But in all honesty, the amount of women on the internet that do it about men is, it's staggering. So she was making the point that it doesn't matter how many men make content, yeah. The amount of women who do it, naturally, like a second language for, <laughs> for a lot of women, just cooking men, it's just, it's staggering. It's staggering. And yeah, it is. And because of a lot of that online BS, because of that information, a lot of men are hearing it, seeing it, understanding and being like, yeah, I'm good. I'm done. A damn balloon popping show. A man's outfit, what he's wearing that particular day is not... I don't know, these women aren't, ah, oh, I'm turned off by what you're wearing. Really? Really? She's crazy. Yeah, it's that dumb. And this woman is mortified. Point, point, point of no return. Embarrassed. <laughs> Embarrassed as a woman. Yeah, you, you should be. A lot of women out here are nuts. Crispy. But yeah, embarrassed as to what some women are out here doing. It is embarrassing to a lot of women. So a lot of men can't be bothered. It's just effing stupid now. We are at the highest level of delusion. Hmm. I mean, how can you turn down somebody because of their outfit as if the outfit cannot change? Yeah, quite shallow. Wow, like I, I can't like, do you know how many, do you know how many folks go on a balloon popping dating show and simply turn people down because of their outfit because they don't like these shoes, they don't like the hat or it's, 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 this is so petty. Bingo. And think about this, as men, we're visual creatures. Pew, pew. There are a lot of chicks on that show who's like, yeah, woman, I don't know why the hell you wore that. Trash already, trash. Like, I don't know why you wore that outfit. You, oh, God. You look wrong in the outfit. However, I'm going to look past that crappy outfit you're wearing and be like, yeah, there's probably a decent woman here. It's weird how it's promoted that women are more emotionally intelligent and as men, we're just some dumb cavemen. <laughs> with some bumbling oafs. Oh. Okay, but it's weird how, in reality, it seems like a lot more men have more emotional intelligence, you could just call it logic, to be honest, than a lot of these women. It's like, what do they call emotional intelligence? Drugs. Because it seems like a woman's version of emotional intelligence is high delusion, <laughs> crazy, drug and alcohol infused, high delusion. It really is a high. This is so petty on so many levels, and I see why a lot of us are single and lonely. Mm, indeed. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Woo! Women, we are, we have unrealistic expectations to where now we are slipping into danger levels of delusion. Mm, insanity. It's beautiful. We are self-sabotaging at an all-time high, and I promise you, we will die alone. Then you're going to die alone. How about that? You, let me just cut to the chase. She understands. Obviously, she's mortified enough to understand and, you know. Die alone. Be hurt by the chaos of the modern woman. On one hand, it's beautiful to behold. It's like, wow. This woman's going crazy like the thing. Classic thing, not that new one that they made with the crap CGI. Seriously, that's trash. Classic thing. It's like she's just freaking out like that. Like, yeah, go on. That's how chaotic she is. To look at it, it's crazy. To want to be with it, no, that's... Ah! Oh God, that's terrifying. You don't want to date that, no. But to just look at it and observe it from a distance where you're safe, it's mesmerizing. But to want to date that, Jesus Christ, no, I'm, I'm good. Thank you, thank you. Single don't seem so bad in comparison to dating that. We will die alone. Indeed. Oh my goodness. Mortified. <laughs> and sadly, a lot of women in the future will be petrified. 
like a husk. Ain't no man coming to save you. Die alone. There's a certain brand of feminism these days that seems less about equality and more about turning men into punching bags for every perceived societal issue. Hoo-ah! Oh, it is. And as a man, I can feel the punches in my body. You know, the, the little the little fists of women. <laughs> and obviously, you know, it's a lot of fists. So the collective of the fists hurt because some little woman fists, but I can feel the fists punching into my body every day, you know? These women just beating me up with their little fists and their weak punches. It tickles. Nothing a man does is ever right. If he's too confident, that's toxic. If he's not confident enough, he's weak. It's a constant game of let's find something wrong with him, and when they sit around wondering why no decent guy wants to stick around, maybe that's it. The real kicker, they act shocked that they're single, as if criticizing men nonstop is an aphrodisiac. Let's talk about her hobbies versus his. If a guy's into sports, it's toxic masculinity. If he plays video games, grow up. But they'll turn around and drop $400 on crystals and sage because they read in their horoscope that Mercury's in retrograde and that's why their life's a disaster. Exactly, look at that. A woman would buy crystals, $400 of crystals to shove up her whap. Shrimp tacos. Disgusting. All right, let's not, not say that. But to just love on a crystal, yeah? $400 for a piece of crystal. Well, let a man spend four hundred dollars to you know buy a new part for his car, or well, four hundred dollars on a new part for his PC, four hundred dollars on a you know, PS5, if you will. You know, ah, oh, disgusting, disgusting. Why? Not allowed, are you? Not permitted, are you? As a man, the ick. Oh, shut up, woman. Why on earth would you want to be with a woman who wouldn't even just treat you to simple, basic man things, man things? You know, it's happy wife, happy life, and as a man, you get. F it's got to be the stars, the moon, or the rising sign that makes it hard to find the right guy. But maybe it's not the planets that are the problem. They say they don't need a man because they're an independent woman. But maybe they don't need you because you're self-righteous. They want a guy who's a millionaire but isn't materialistic. Who's ripped but doesn't spend time in the gym. Stop being so vain. Basically, they're looking for some mythological creature who will bake cupcakes with them while crying over the notebook together. A devil. It's a devil man. Yeah. I can fix him. He's a devil, man. It doesn't matter if he's a devil. He, he could be the devil, doesn't matter. So long as he's got money, he looks good, and he's got enough clout. Obviously, he's a devil. He, he, he's got clout. He's good enough. Man, it's just too bad you don't know him like I do. Oh, yeah? And how's that? He's good enough. I mean, are we joking? If the devil was a real man walking around, big, red, with horns and everything, and rich, he'd have loads of women. <laughs> he'd have loads. The devil would have loads of women. Now, is that weird? Or does it actually make sense? He's as real as your ability to manifest a personality. And if you somehow manage to survive that minefield, good luck being a gentleman. Hold the door open, you're a sexist. Don't hold the door, you're scum. It's like they've turned basic decency into a lose-lose situation where no matter what a guy does, it's wrong. Then they cry about how there are no good men left, as if they didn't spend the last decade making every decent guy feel like he's trapped in a psychological obstacle course when they open a car door for you. Imagine as a man, wanting to be a gentleman you know you know disregarding mother effers like myself on the internet saying no no i want to be a gentleman i, I want to be a real gentleman to these modern women <laughs> and these modern women step all in your face what kill him i'll pay you <laughs> you know you're trying to be a gentleman hold a door and you're getting kicked in the balls repetitively very hard you know bloody bottom shoes whatever the hell i call them you're getting kicked in your balls very hard and all you're trying to do as a man is be a gentleman yeah yeah good luck you bastards <laughs> Trying to be a gentleman. No, she sees you as a monster. They love to drop the line, men are just intimidated by strong women. Yeah, I'm sure guys aren't running because you're exhausting and entitled. You're not intimidating. Keep telling yourself that while you sip your matcha latte alone with your planets and star charts waiting for the right man who will never show up. Yeah. Maybe the problem isn't that men are scared of your power or that the planets are out of alignment. Maybe the issue is you've set the bar at an impossible height and refuse to see the comfort that comes from someone who leads the household. At the end of the day, men aren't bowing out because they're scared of you. They're just tired of playing a game they'll never win. Yeah, it's like lose, lose. <laughs> the more you love a woman, the more you lose. Ah, oh, that's, that's effed up. A question. Um, can someone tell me whether men get the audacity? Hmm. Is, is it online? Do, can I get express shipping? Because honestly, I could really use some right now. And you guys seem to have a lot of it. Silence. You it's sort of a defense mechanism, you know. In dealing with the modern woman, a lot of men have, you know, they've learned to become more audacious and not give an F, basically, because they've realized it's pointless to give an F. Because as much as you enjoy the modern woman and you want to give an F to the modern woman, 
Indeed. You realise it's not even flipping worth it, man. I have trust issues now. It's not even damn worth it. You could trip, fall over, fall in love, get married, and that's all you're doing. And she will take everything and divorce you. Ah! Just like a woman. Yeah, take all of your tripping and falling, all of your longing and wanting, and just, she'll roll it up into a ball. Divorce you, take your money. Ah! Take your kids as well. Daddy. If you're unlucky enough to put some in her, and then just leave you there, a husk of a man. So where do men get the audacity? Yeah, they've had no choice but to become so audacious. As we should. And scared. Like, yo, be scared, man. Some of these modern women are effing crazy. A super fun part of dating in your 40s is that men will still ghost you for not wanting mm. children. Like, yeah. sir, you are 47 years old. You already have two adult children. You have a family history of heart failure and you're on a waiting list for a double knee replacement. It doesn't matter. Men understand a lot of women will die alone. It's of their own making. So a lot of men have learned to be more strategic in how they move. Don't want to get locked down by the wrong woman. Because even the right woman could ruin your life as well. For a double knee replacement. What do you think you're going to do with a baby? It is nice to see so many women understand, finally understand, what a lot of men have been saying for the longest time. A lot of women have become just so undateable, unwifeable, that it truly is effy pointless. Have a nice day. Point, point, point of no return.